I don't cook. I don't clean. But I don't gotta ring. I After three years of marriage, Cardi B filed for divorce from Offset. Things just haven't been working out between us for a long time. The couple has seen tumultuous times throughout their marriage due to Offset's infidelity, which is said to be the reason for the recent filing. We do wish them both the best and hope they can remain amicable for the sake of their daughter, Culture. What do you think about this one? I mean, I'm not surprised. What do you think about this? So you mean she don't cook, she doesn't clean, but she has a WAP. Hmm, all right, well. Did you know that the U.S. drug prices are nearly four times higher than the average prices of other developed countries? A report filed last September by the Ways and Means Committee showed the disparity of drug prices in America versus other countries. And on Monday, President Trump signed an executive order that would lower drug prices in America. This order specifically focuses on reducing the cost of Medicare Part B and Part D prescription drugs. What do y'all think about this? Is it actually going to create change or is this an order for political disguise? Both candidates are doing what they can to get the American people on board with them. I mean, this is probably one of the very few things that Trump has done that I actually agree with. Whoa, I know, okay. whoa, I mean. All right, Trump. I know, so it's one <laughs> of those like. Four more years, four more years. I'm not years. saying that yet. <laughs> Big announcements from Apple yesterday as they will be releasing a new Apple Watch, new iPad Air, and one of the biggest software updates to date, iOS 14. Some of the changes will be a redesigned home screen with larger widgets, a new more compacted way to answer calls, updated messages, and much more. One feature that is interesting is the car keys, which will allow people to lock and unlock their cars and can be shared through a text. Do we need another update? My God. There's so many <laughs> There's updates. so many. Like, every, like it dings every single day, like it's coming up. I don't get it. Conspiracy theorists have been keeping an eye on Bill Gates. Whether they are right or not is TBD. He recently was interviewed and said that the number of things in retrospect could have been done better on this pandemic is very, very large. He went on to state that we have underestimated the value of masks and addressed the conspiracy theorists saying somehow the true messages aren't as titillating or exciting as the conspiracy type messages. What, what do you think? Do you trust Bill Clinton? Uh, Bill Clinton. <laughs> well, Bill Gates. I don't Bill trust Bill Clinton. Gates. <laughs> Two different people. My bad. I do not. I do not I trust do not that trust man. That <laughs> Ready to hop into your electric air taxi? Volocopter is now accepting reservations for its 18-rotor electric aircraft to the public, but it's going to take about two to three years. When it does release, the battery powder VTOL vertical takeoff and landing vehicle will be able to fly for about 30 minutes at a max distance of 17 miles per hour. Don't count this company out. They raised $55.3 million in funding. A reservation will cost around $355, and only 1,000 people will be able to reserve their spot. That's steep. That's, That's pretty steep. That's expensive just to go. <laughs> Just to go with it, 17 miles. Uber. <laughs> I'd rather, yeah, hop into an Uber. That's... Yeah, I'm, I'm going to stay traditional on that one. A settlement has been agreed upon. The city of Louisville announced it has settled with the family of Breonna Taylor. Taylor's family will receive $12 million in the settlement and will also include policies around police reform called Breonna's Law, which will require search warrants to be appraised by police commanders before a judge sees them. Lonita Baker, one of Taylor's attorneys, said it's important to note that a financial financial settlement was insignificant without police reform. It's important for her family that they minimize the risk of what happened to Breonna Taylor happening to any other family in Louisville, Kentucky. Any interesting facts about this that you kind of saw? I think it's interesting that there's a settlement in this case, but there still haven't been any charges Absolutely. or arrests made because obviously they're admitting something wrong happened. Well, thanks for tuning into the news with us. That's my host. Uh, uh. Smile. Yep, and, and I'm my host <laughs> Sherry. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Sorry, I didn't throw that back to you fast enough. I should have. I was like, <laughs> like wait for it, wait for it. That's me. That's on me.